Viral meningitis is a health condition caused by the infection of the meninges and subarachnoid. This causes an inflammation of the subarachnoid space due to a buildup of cerebrospinal fluid. Viral meningitis is most common within children and becomes less common as people age. Viral meningitis can be caused by the infection of many viruses, some of which include the herpes simplex virus, the varicella zoster virus, anthropod-borne viruses, the mumps virus, HIV, and the Epstein-Barr virus. The most common cause of viral meningitis among children are non-polio enteroviruses. Traveling can lead to exposure of certain viral meningitis causing viruses, such as the West Nile virus, which is found in parts of America, Africa, and Australia. The tick-borne encephalitis virus is another potentially risky virus, which can be found in parts of mainland Europe and Asia. Viral meningitis produces many uncomfortable symptoms, which usually include the onset of fever, headaches, nausea, meningeal irritation, stiffness of the neck, and sensitivity to light. Other symptoms such as back pain, states of confusion, sore throat, rashes, and swollen glands are usually an early sign of acute meningitis, which can be accompanied by a state of unconsciousness or a coma. If viral meningitis is caused by the herpes simplex virus type 2 and is left untreated, immunodeficiency may occur, which can increase the risk of the patient's immune system failing. If immunodeficiency does occur, then the viral meningitis may become chronic due to the increased amount of tissue damage. Meningeal fibrosis is caused by the buildup of damaged meningeal tissue, which could compress and damage the cranial nerve. This would be the worst possible outcome as it may potentially lead to the death of the patient. The best possible outcome if viral meningitis is left untreated is spontaneous recovery. Viral meningitis is short term and usually goes away after approximately 7 to 10 days, as in most cases. There is no vaccine currently available for viral meningitis, but symptomatic treatment is usually suggested. Patients can use paracetamol or other pharmaceutical medicines to treat the symptoms of viral meningitis as well as drink plenty of fluids and have adequate rest. This method of treatment would be the least expensive, evidence-based approach, especially since over-the-counter medicines are usually sold at a subsidized price. If a patient is hospitalized, they can be given medication to relieve the pain and alleviate symptoms as well as intravenous fluids to aid hydration. If viral meningitis is caused by the herpes simplex virus or the varicella zoster virus, then antiviral medications such as aciclovir or valaciclovir is typically given. These medicines could be the most expensive evidence-based approach as they require hospitalization. If you are suffering any of the viral meningitis symptoms, it is recommended to see a GP as soon as possible in order to receive a diagnosis. If viral meningitis is suspected, antibiotics are the first step in case symptoms are caused by bacterial meningitis, which has more damaging consequences. If viral meningitis is confirmed, patients are treated with the correct antiviral. Seeking medical advice from a GP is highly recommended as leaving the condition untreated could lead to serious consequences, which can be avoided if treated early. Pharmacists play a crucial role in prescribing medications that are specific to the patient's symptoms.